What's up guys, today we're gonna be building this awesome portfolio website with React.js. This portfolio will help you to land a job or clients if you are a freelance developer. In this portfolio, you can tell about yourself, add your work experience and you can show off your awesome projects. If you are a beginner in React or don't know anything about React, this is the perfect project for you. Before we jump into VS Code, those who are new to this channel and those who haven't subscribed to my channel, I highly recommend you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. This gives me a motivation to create more quality content like this. So without wasting time, let's get started. Before we start, you should have basic knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript and you should have installed Node.js in your computer. If you haven't, head over to the official website and install the latest table version. Then you need to have VS Code editor or any ID you want, but we're going to be using VS Code editor in this project. After having all these pre requirements, Let's open up a command prompt and enter a command npx create react app and the project name you're going to be taking portfolio UI. So npm is a tool that used to install packages. npx is a tool that used to execute packages. Packages used by the npx are not installed by globally. So we're going to be using npx. Create react app is a tool to create a single page react application that is officially supported by the react team. Now let's create our react app by entering command. It's going to take a while. So I'm going to skip and we'll be back after creating the project. We have successfully created our react project. Let's navigate into it. We're going to be using material UI icons. So let's install emotion react, emotion style and material and material icons. We can't use material accounts without these three dependencies. So we need to install these two. Let's enter this command to install. It's going to take a while. Okay, we have installed our dependencies. Let's open this project in VS Code via code.command. This command will open project in current project directory. Okay, now we are in VS Code. Let's remove unnecessary files we don't need in this project. In public folder, let's remove all files except index.html. In index.html, let's remove this link because we have just deleted manifest.json file. And the title will be portfolio. Let's save this file. In source directory, open app.css file. Remove all this code and save this file. Then open app.js file. In app.js, let's remove this logo import and entire div tag. Then add h1 tag with hello world text. Then save this file. In source directory, remove unnecessary files. Then open index.js file. Here we just deleted this file, so we can't import the file which doesn't exist. So we're going to remove the comment and import. Then save this file. Now let's open index.css file. In this file, let's remove the code styles because we are not going to show any code on front end. Then add the root. Here we're going to define the variables. By defining the variables, we can reuse them in different files. In future, if you wanted to change any font size, font family or colors, we just have to change them in one file. Let's add the font family, then transition, colors and font size. You can pause the video and copy the code or you can check out the GitHub repo. I will add the link in the description. So after adding all these variables, let's remove the font family from body, add font family to be font mono background color to be navy and color to be light slate here we're gonna scroll the screen so html scroll behavior will be smooth and then anchor tag text decoration will be none color will be inherit after making all these changes let's save this file in source directory create a components folder inside that folder create navbar folder inside that create index.jsx file. JSX stands for JavaScript XML. It allows you to write HTML in React. Then create another file styles.module.css. 
CSS modules avoid namespace collision for CSS classes. You can use the same class name in multiple CSS files. So let's open index.jsx file. In this file, we're gonna import styles from styles.module.css. Then we're gonna create a navbar function, then export it. Here we're gonna return nav tag with class name nav container. Inside the tag, we're gonna add a div tag with a class name nav left. Inside the div, we're gonna add an anchor tag, which will be our logo. Here I'm just adding a text. Whenever the user click on this logo, he will redirect to home section. Then we're gonna add a div with class name nav right. Inside that we're gonna add nav links, which are about experience, work, and contact. Whenever the user click on those links, he will redirect to the particular section. Then at last we're gonna add a button with a class name nav resume btn. Here text will be resume. After making all these changes, let's save this file and Let's go to styles.module.css file. Here we're gonna add styles. In this file, let's add nav container class. Here top will be zero, left will be zero, position to be fixed, width will be 100%, height will be 70 pixels, background color will be var, transparent, navy. As you can see, here we are using variables which we have defined in index.css file. So this is how we're gonna use variables in CSS file. Then let's add box shadow where navy shadow display flex justify content space between align items center. We want navbar to be top of everything. So Z index will be 100. Now let's add padding of 15 pixels on left and right side of navbar. Then for logo color will be green font size will be double XL font weight will be bold font family will be font sans. For every nav link and font size will be small, color will be lightest slate, cursor pointer and margin left will be 26 pixels. For the number in nav link, I want color to be green, margin right to be 15 pixels. Whenever we hover on nav link, I want color to be green. After making changes to the nav links, now let's add styles to the resume button. Outline will be none, font size will be extra small, background will be transparent, border will be one pixels, solid, green. Color will also be green, border radius five pixels, padding will be 10 pixels on top and bottom, 15 pixels on left and right. Cursor will be pointer, margin left will be 26 pixels. Whenever we hover on button, I want background to be green tint. After making these changes, let's save this file. Now let's create footer folder in components folder. Inside that folder, create index.jsx file and styles.module.css file. Now let's go to index.jsx file. Here import styles from styles.module.css. Then create a function name footer. Here we're gonna return footer tag with class name footer container. Inside that, add a h1 tag with class name text. And text will be built by John. Here you can add your name or anything you want. Then export this footer. After making these changes, let's save this file. Then head over to module.css file. For footer container class, display will be flex, justify content will be center, height will be 50 pixels. For text class, font size will be medium, color will be light slate, font weight will be 500. Let's save this file. Okay, now let's create contact bar folder in components folder. Inside that, create index.jsx file and styles.module.css file. Let's go to index.jsx. Here, we're gonna import Twitter icon, Instagram icon, GitHub icon, LinkedIn icon, and styles from styles.module.css. After importing, create function name contact bar. Here we're gonna return a div tag with class name contact bar wrapper. Inside the div, add another div with class name contact bar. Inside the div, add an anchor tag with class name icon along with your LinkedIn profile link. Inside that anchor tag, add LinkedIn icon. 
just like we have added LinkedIn icon, we're gonna add GitHub icon, Instagram icon, and Twitter icon. Then let's add a div tag with class name line. After adding this div, add another div with class name contact bar. Inside the div, add an anchor tag with class name email. Here in href, add mail to and your email so that whenever the user click on this, email will be prompt. Inside that, add your email address so that user can see. Then add a div with class name line. Okay. After making all these changes, export this contact bar and save this file. Okay. Now open styles.module.css. Here for contact bar wrapper class, width will be 100%, position will be fixed, bottom will be zero, display flex. Justify content space between. Then for contact bar class, add width 150 pixels, display flex, align item center, justify content, flex and flex direction will be column, position will be relative. Then for line class, width will be 1 pixels, height will be 120 pixels, background color will be light slate, and margin top will be 20 pixels. Let's add styles for email. Font family will be font sans. Font size will be small. Writing mode will be vertical from right to left. Letter spacing, we're gonna add one pixels. Margin will be zero. Cursor pointer and transition, transition, which we have defined in variables. Then for icon, margin top will be 15 pixel. Cursor pointer and transition whenever we hover on email let's add color to be green and margin bottom will be three pixels just like we have did for email we're gonna do for icon color will be green but here we're gonna add transform translate y minus three pixels whenever we hover on that icon it will be move upwards for three pixels so after making all these changes let's save this file Okay, now let's create heading folder in components folder. Inside that folder, as usual, let's create index.jsx file and styles.module.css file. In index.jsx, let's import styles from styles.module.css. Then create a function name heading with parameters index and heading. Then we're gonna export heading. Here we're gonna return a div tag with class name container. Inside the div, we're gonna add a p tag with class name index. In order to use the dynamic values in React, we need to put the value in object, just like we did here. Then let's add h1 tag with class name heading. Here inside that add heading parameter. Then add a div tag with class name line. After making all these changes, let's save this file and open styles.module.css file. Here for container class, add display to be flex, align items, baseline, margin bottom to be 10 pixel, max width 700 pixels, padding top will be 50 pixels. Then for index class, font size to be this much, font weight will be 400, color will be green. Then for heading, Font family will be font sans, font size will be heading, color will be lightest slate, font weight to be 600, margin left 15 pixels. Then for the line, flex grow will be 1, height will be 1 pixels, background color will be lightest navy, align self to be center, margin left will be 15 pixel. Then let's save this file. Now. Let's go to app.js file. Here, we're gonna import navbar from components folder and contact bar and footer. Let's remove this h1 tag and add main tag with class name main. Then add navbar, contact bar and footer. Let's save this file and open command prompt. Here, Enter 
npm start command so that our react application will start. Let's go to browser and check this out. As you can see, we are now in browser. Our changes are reflecting here. Our nav are looking very good. Whenever we hover on the nav links, the colors are changing and social media icons are also changing. Email also changing. Okay, now let's go to our VS code and make home section. Okay, now in source directory, create sections folder. Inside that, create home folder. Inside that folder, create index.jsx file and styles.module.css file. In index.jsx, import styles from styles.module.css, then create a function name home. Then we're gonna export the home. Here, we're gonna return a section tag with class name home section and we also add id to be home. Inside that, add p tag with class name greet. Here, add the message how you want to greet them. Then add a h1 tag with class name heading1. Here you can add your name. Then add another h1 tag with class name heading2. Here you can add any tagline you want. Then we're gonna add a p tag with class name description. Add your description text here. Then we're gonna add an anchor tag. Here we're gonna redirect this to work section. Then inside that anchor tag, add a button with class name btn. Here, whenever the user click on this button, he will redirect to work section. Okay. After making all these changes, let's save this file and open styles.module.css file. Here, for home section, width will be 100% minus 200 pixel, height will be 100 view height, maximum height will be 800 pixels, display to be flex, flex direction column, justify content to be center, font family will be font sans. For grid class, font family will be font mono, font size will be extra large, color will be green, margin will be 10 pixel top and bottom and 0 pixels for left and right. For heading 1, color will be lightest slate. Font size will be 80 pixels. Let's set margin to be 0. And for heading 2, font size will be 65 pixels. Margin will be 0 and color to be slate. For description, font size, let's set it to be medium and width to be 65 percent. For button, outline will be none. Font size will be medium. Let's set background to be transparent. Border will be 1 pixel solid and green color and text will also green border radius 5 pixels padding will be 15 pixel top and bottom and 20 pixel for left and right width will be 200 pixels and cursor will be pointer margin top 15 pixels whenever we hover on button let's set background color to be green tint Okay, let's save this file. Okay, now let's open app.js file. In this file, we're gonna import home section. And just below the navbar, we're gonna add a div tag with class name app section container. Inside the div, add home component and save this file. Then open app.css file. For app section container class, position will be relative, width will be 100% minus 300 pixels, top will be 0, left will be 150 pixels and z index to be 2. After adding these changes, let's save this file and let's go to browser and check the changes we have made. As you can see, our home section is looking good. Our name, tagline and description are aligned perfectly and our checkout button is also looking good. Whenever the user click on that button, they will redirect to the work section. But currently it won't work because we haven't added work section yet. Now, next we're gonna add about section. So let's go to VS Code again. Before we create about component, 
In public folder, I have added some images which we're gonna use in this project, which are profile image and project images. You can download them from GitHub repo or you can add your own images. After adding the images, in sections folder, create about folder. Inside that, create index.jsx and styles.module.css file. In index.jsx, let's import heading from components folder and styles from styles.module.css. Then create a function name about. We're gonna return a section tag with id about. Inside that, add heading components and pass index to be one and heading to be about me. Then we're gonna add a div tag with class name container. Inside that, we're gonna add another div tag with class name left. Inside that, add p tag with class name description and add your description about yourself and add another p tag with class name description. After adding description, let's add another div tag with class name right. Inside that, add image element with class name profile image and provide the source directory of profile image. Then we're gonna add border to the image with the div element with class name image border. After adding these changes, let's export a bot. After exporting, let's save this file and open styles.module.css file. Here, for container class, let's set display to be flex, justify content to be center, align items to be center. For height, let's set 100 weave height minus 200 pixels. For left class, let's set flex to be 1. And for description, font family will be font size and color will be slate font size will be large for right class let's set flex to be 1 display to be flex align item center justify content will also be center for profile image width will be 300 pixel and border radius will be 10 pixels let's add border for image here width will be 300 pixels height will be 300 pixels and position will be absolute Border will be 2 pixels, solid and green color. Let's add border radius to be 10 pixels. Margin top 30 pixels. Margin left 30 pixels. And transition will be transition which we have defined in CSS. And Z index to be minus 1. Okay. Whenever we hover on image, I want image border to be move 15 pixels from top and left. After making changes, let's save this file and open app.js file. In this file, let's import about component and use it inside app section container div. After adding this component, let's save this file and open browser. Okay, now we are in browser. Let's scroll down to about me section. As you can see, our description and profile image are looking good. And whenever we hover on image, the border is also moving. Let's add changes for experience section. Okay, now let's create constant.json file inside source directory. Then in this file, let's add experience as array of objects. In every object, add company name and website link and title and your work duration. Then add description as array of strings after adding the experience just like we did for experience we're gonna add projects as array of objects in every object add your project title and its image and description then skills you have used in this project to build and github link and link to the website after adding these projects let's save this file now let's create experience folder inside sections folder. Here create index.jsx file and styles.module.css file. Then open index.jsx. Here let's import useState from React. Those who don't know what is useState, it's a hook that lets you to add React state to a functional component. So what is React state? It's a built-in React object that is used to contain data or information about the component. Whenever it changes, the whole component re-renders. 
In this component, we're going to be using state to differentiate the work experience. Whenever the user click on the company name, we're going to show data accordingly. You're going to understand when we're going to use this in code. So don't worry. Then we're going to import heading from components and constant.json as constant and play arrow icon from material UI icons. Then styles from styles.module.css. Then create a function name experience and export it. In this function, let's create a state named current index with default value 0. In order to update this state, we're going to use set current index function. This is how we're going to define state in function component. After defining this state, let's return section with id experience. Inside this tag, let's use heading component. Let's pass index to be 2, heading to be where I have worked. Then we're going to add a div with class name container. Inside the div, add another div with class name left. Then add another div with class name right. In left div, we're going to map experiences array. For every experience, we're going to return a div with company name. For class name, if index is equal to current index state, then it will be styles.tab and styles.active tab. Else it will be styles.tab. On click event, we're going to update current index via set current index method by passing index. Okay. Now in write div, let's add an h1 tag with class name title. Here we're going to use current index state to know the selected company title like this. Then we're going to add an anchor tag and pass the company name. For href, add company link target to be blank so that whenever the user click on that link, a new window will be opened. Now let's add p tag with class name duration. Here company duration will be rendered. Then we're going to map description points. For every point, we're going to return a p tag with class name description. Inside here, we're going to add play arrow icon and description point. Okay, now we have done all these changes. Let's save this file and open styles.module.css file. In this file, for container class, let's set display to be flex, justify content center, height will be 100 weave height minus 200 pixels, padding top will be 80 pixels. For left class, let's set display to be flex, flex direction will be column, width will be 200 pixels. Then for tab class, height will be 50 pixels, display flex, align items center, padding left will be 30 pixels, cursor pointer and font size to be large, border left will be 2 pixels solid and light navy color, transition will be transition, border radius will be 2 pixels. Whenever we hover on tab, I want background to be lightest navy and color to be green. For active tab, background color will be lightest navy, color will be green and border left will be 2 pixels solid and green color. Okay, now for right class, padding left will be 20 pixels, font family will be font sans and for title class, let's set margin to be 0, line height will be 50 pixels, font weight will be 500 and font size will be this much. Okay. For anchor tag, let's set color to be green. And for duration, font family will be font mono. Margin will be zero. Font size will be small. Color will be slate. Now for description, display will be flex. Align items will be center. Font size will be medium. And color will be slate. For SVG icon, Let's set color to be green, width will be 15 pixels, height will be 15 pixels and margin right will be 15 pixels. Okay, now let's save this file. Okay, now let's open app.js file. Here we're going to import experience component. Then we're going to place it just below about component. 
Then we're going to save this file and let's open browser to see the changes we have made. Okay, now we are in browser. Let's scroll down to the experience section. As you can see, it's looking good. On left side, we are showing company names. On right side, we are showing selected company details. Whenever we click on different company name, the data will be changing. Okay, it's working fine. Next, we're going to be working on work section. So let's head over to the VS code. Now let's create work folder in sections folder. Inside this folder, create index.jsx file and styles.module.css file. Then let's go to index.jsx. In this file, we're going to import heading from components folder. Then we're going to import GitHub icon and open a new icon from material icons. Then we're going to import constant.json file as constant variable. Then we're going to import styles from styles.module.css. Here we're going to create a function name work and then we're going to export it. For function work, we're going to return a section tag with id work. Inside the tag, we're going to use heading component. Here we're going to pass index to be 3 and heading to be something I have built. Then we're going to add a div tag with class name container. Inside the div, we're going to map projects array. As you have seen in portfolio UI, we have put one project image on left and one on right. In order to achieve that UI, here we're going to check project index. If it's even number, then we're going to put it on right, else we're going to put it on left. So let's say index number is even, then we're going to add a div tag with class name project. Inside the div, we're going to add another div with class name left. Then we're going to add another div with class name right. Inside left div, let's add an anchor tag. Here, add href to be project link and target to be blank. Inside an anchor tag, add image tag. Here, set source to be project image and class name to be styles.emg. Okay. Now in right div, let's add an anchor tag with class name heading. Inside that, we're going to add project title and href to be project link. Then we're going to add a p tag with class name description. Inside that, we're going to add description. Then we're going to add a div tag with class name skill container. Inside that, we're going to map skills array. For every skill, we're going to return a p tag with skill. Then we're going to add another div. Inside that, we're going to add an anchor tag here with class name link. Inside that anchor tag, we're going to add GitHub icon. Just like we did for GitHub icon, we're going to add another anchor tag. Inside that, we're going to add open in new icon. Okay, now let's copy the whole project div and paste it in L section. Then we're going to change right class name to left and left class name to right and change the position of both divs. I forgot to do that but I did after recording the video so sorry for that. After making these changes, let's save this file and, and open styles.module.css file. In this file, for container class, let's set display to be flex and flex direction to be column. For project class, let's set display to be flex, align item centers and justify content to be center. Margin will be 15 pixels top and bottom and 0 on left and right. For left class, let's set flex to be 1, display to be flex, align items will be flex start, flex direction will be column. Then we're gonna add styles for image class, width will be 600 pixels, height will be 300 pixels, object fit will be covered, border radius will be 5 pixels. For right class, let's set flex to be 1, display will be flex, align items will be flex end, and flex direction will be column. For heading class, let's set color to be lightest slate, font family will be font sans, font size will be heading, font weight will be 600, and cursor will be pointer. Whenever we hover on heading, let's set color to be green, and for description, let's set background color to be light navy. Let's add box shadow to be 0, 
10 pixels 30 pixels and minus 15 pixels and color will be navy shadow let's add color to be light slate and font family will be font sans line height will be 20 pixels font size will be medium padding will be 20 pixels z index will be 2 width will be 120 percent border radius will be 5 pixels okay for skill container class font size will be small margin button will be 12 pixels display will be flex okay for skill container inside p tag let's set margin to be 0 and margin left will be 12 pixels and for links container display will be flex and for link class cursor will be pointer margin left will be 20 pixels whenever we hover on link let's set color to be green after making all these changes let's save this file okay now let's open app.js file in this file we're gonna import work component and we're gonna put it right below experience component then we're gonna save this file let's open browser to see the changes we have made okay now we are in browser let's head over to the work section as you can see our changes are reflecting perfectly one project image is on left and another one is on right it's working fine next we're gonna be creating contact section so let's open vs code again okay now let's create contact folder in sections folder inside that folder create index.jsx file and styles.module.css file in index.jsx file here let's import heading from components folder and styles from styles.module.css then we're gonna create a function name contact then export it here we're gonna return a section tag with class name contact section and id to be contact inside that tag we're gonna add a div tag with class name heading1 inside the div we're gonna add heading component here we're gonna pass index to be 4 and heading to be what's next then we're gonna add a h1 tag with class name heading2 then let's add a p tag with class name description here add the description then add an anchor tag here href will be mail2 and the email you want to send then inside that anchor tag add a button with class name btn let's add a text say hello after adding all these changes let's save this file and open styles.module.css file in this file for contact section style let's set height to be 100 view height max height will be 800 pixels display will be flex flex direction will be column justify content to be center align items will be center font family will be font sans position will be relative for heading one let's add width to be 100 percent position to be absolute and top will be zero left will be zero and for heading two font size will be 50 pixels and margin to be zero let's add styles for description font size will be large width will be 600 pixels text align will be center color will be slate for button outline will be none font size will be medium background will be transparent border will be one pixel solid green color text color will be green border radius will be five pixels padding will be 15 pixels top and bottom 20 pixels on left and right width will be 150 pixels cursor will be pointer margin top 20 pixels whenever we hover on button let's add background color to be green tint okay now let's save this file okay now let's open app.js file here we're gonna import contact component from sections folder then we're gonna put it right below work section then we're gonna save this file and open browser to see the changes we have made okay we have completed our portfolio let's go through one section at a time 
our home section is done about section is also done experience is done work section it's looking good it is also done and contact section which we just did it is also completed i hope you have learned something new today if you like this video subscribe to my channel it gives me a motivation to create more quality content like this if you want to watch more content from us just check out this video